Hello everyone and welcome to my next demonstration of Into the Breach from Subset Games. When last we left off, we had saved two islands from the rampaging Vec, and it's now time to take the battle to the enemy. Let's get started. As you can see, we have secured both Archive Island and the RST Desert Island. Now at this point, we have a choice. We can either move on to the Ice Island, controlled by Pinnacle Robotics, and potentially save more civilians. Or we can, as I said, take the battle to the enemy and attack their volcanic hive. Now, this is an important point. It says here that the difficulty of the mission scales to your current progress. So if I were to acquire upgrades on my forces, it's implied here that the difficulty would ramp up accordingly. So it's, it looks like only if I really wanted to get more upgrades for my mechs, or if I wanted to save more civilians, would there be a benefit. So in the interest of time, I'm going to move to the final mission. So here we go. With the Vec driven off the islands, you have a chance to wipe them out at their source. You are humanity's last hope. So this is it, the final battle. Either we take out the Vec here, or we abandon this timeline for another one in the hopes that we have a chance there. Let's get started. Alright, we have a scorpion, we have a beetle, and we have a hornet. Alright, so let's put an air mech here. Let's put a rocket mech here, our pulse mech here. Now already our crew is informing us that we don't have any buildings to provide us grid power, but we now have these mobile pylons that just came in. All right, so already one of our grid pylons is in danger, so we're going to have to do something about that. All right. First thing we can do is take out this insect here. He's gone. Now let's use our air mech, move here, drop electric smoke to stop his attack. As for the pulse mech, let's give him a shove. There we go. more natural disasters to deal with. And we have... Alright, we have two. Two grid stations in danger. Alright. What can we do here? Oh, wow. He's going to attack this one, too. We're gonna have to take him out. Okay, move Rocket Mech here. Take him out. Now, what can we do here? Well, we can move here. Actually, all right. We can take this out. Cancel his attack. Let's give him a shove, and when this Vex surfaces, it will do damage. When this beetle charges, he's going to charge right into the lava and no longer be a problem.
Okay, this will work. I can use the pulse mech. I can push this blobber back, push this scorpion back on this surfacing point, and push this blob out of range of where it would damage these pylons. So let's do that now. And of course, pushing him into the electric smoke will stop him and damage him even further. Now, he's still going to attack in this direction by one tile, but we could move our rocket mech here and do this. There. I should have moved my air mech when I had the chance. My mistake. Already we have all right so what can we do he's not attacking oh he's gonna attack here what can we do here and of course we have what's the attack order The explosion of this might damage that, but not before it takes out that station. Alright, maybe I can... Yeah, but if I push this... Well, I might destroy it and push this. But if I do that, I might push the Hornet into... That's gonna require some thought. But as a minimum, we've got to do something about this. All right. I know what I can do. I'm going to move here and give a shove. Really, that didn't do much good. Hmm. Let me try resetting my turn. Try this. Let's let me think about this. My air mech isn't going to do much good offensively against the vac in this turn, but I can move her closer, so I'll do that. As for my pulse mech. But I might be able to, how many hit points does he have? Okay. All right. And no, I don't want to do that. Because if I engage the pulse, I might damage it. tough decisions here. Maybe I can move him here and engage the pulse like this. Okay, that damaged him. on fire, so he might take fire damage and die before he can take out those pylons. So maybe I can make a, a priority of giving him a push. Okay, so I'm going to put Rocket Mech here and drop one on him and push him out of the line of fire. There. Can't move her anymore, so I'll just end the turn. Ah, there we go.
Alright, incoming seismic activity. Now we drop into the actual hive. More pylons coming down. So now Jessica is deploying a Renfield bomb. Defend it while it primes and it will destroy the hive. So we have to keep the Vec from destroying our power pylons and also destroying the bomb. So we have to last five turns to make that happen. Okay. What have we got here? Our Scarab is attacking our rocket mech. We have a Firefly leader attacking the Renfield bomb, so we have to stop that. We also have this beetle charging at the power pylons as well. Alright. What can we do here? gotta stop him from attacking. His attack will, will destroy both the bomb and the power pylons. We have to stop that. Alright. Let's... And we also have this hornet attacking as well. This is gonna be tricky. What can we do here? Okay, here's an idea. Let's put Pulse Mech here and give a shove. So now, this pylon is out of, out of danger. This Firefly's attack may do some damage here. But just as a little extra insurance, I'm going to take Rocket Mech. And I'm going to give him a shove backward onto this cavern hazard. Now, there's more that we can do with our air mech. He's just going to attack this square. That's not that much harm. But what we can do... is we can put our air mech here and drop smoke on him. Let's see how that helps. Electric damage. Of course, that means that when this fires off, we're going to lose our shield. Right. So we've lost our shield. Alright, so we've got... Two sets of pylons here in danger. All right. The bomb is not threatened. We, s we also have to deal with this here. And we also have a hazard here. Well, as a minimum, let's see. Well, we can cancel this attack by putting air mech here and drop smoke a little damage there. That buys us a little bit of time. As for this guy... Hmm. Well, there are a couple of things we could do. We could shove him into... The, we could move Pulse Mech and shove him into the lava. But that might damage this. Alright. Well, we can shove him into the lava and use Rocket Mech and take him out. Let's try that. Splash! Alright. And now, put Rocket Mech over here. Take him out. Squish. Squish. 
And I just noticed that we now have tentacles growing out of the walls. And those are tentacles that just reached up from under the ground. Alright, so what have we got here? This firefly is going to attack this pylon. And we have a Scion Tyrant. What does it do? All player units take one damage at the end of every turn. Oh, we have to make a priority of taking him out. Alright, so how do we do that? Well, we're, we're probably going to need to hit it with rocket mech. We're probably going to have to use air mech to stall this attack. As for pulse mech, I'm not sure what pulse mech can do without putting it in danger. So, alright. Let's think about this. Okay. Put air mech here. Jump over. Drop smoke. Take rocket mech. Bomb the Scion before it can do us some damage. Good. Can Pulse Mech do anything for us? Well, we can move Pulse Mech into a potentially better position, like here. We'll end our turn. Good. Oh boy, a lot of a lot of tentacle attacks coming. All right, and we've got another station threatened. Two of them, three of them. This one's under attack. This one's under attack. This one's under attack, and the bomb is in danger. Okay, what can we do here? As a minimum, we have to move Pulse Mech to keep from losing it to a, a tentacle attack. Okay, I've got an idea. Okay. We're going to start by stalling this attack. By dropping smoke. And when, a, when lightning strikes at the beginning of next turn, it will be destroyed. Now... Let's take Pulse Mech. And perhaps we can give him a shove. Maybe the tentacles will take him out even though he's an airborne unit, but let's try. And for Rocket Mech. Rocket Mech. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. I don't wanna push him into these. But I can take Rocket Mech, put him over here. And push him. And that's it. There we go. Renfield bomb is ready. I recommend you leave now or you'll share a grave with the Vec. This is it. Farewell, rusting hulks. I won't forget you. That's it. Victory! Thanks to the valiant efforts of Bethany Jones, Ether Torcasio, and Lauren Acharya, the Vec Hive has been destroyed, saving this timeline from ultimate doom. Humanity can now begin to recover from the destruction wrought by the Vec. Island civilian lives protected, 4,756. Total Earth lives saved, approximately 4.6 billion.
So there it is. A successful run through of Into the Breach, courtesy of the Rusting Hulks. I'm glad that I was able to win this battle because many, many times I get to the final battle and things just don't line up and I wind up losing. So I'm glad I was able to share this with you. So once again, I thank you all for watching and I'll see you next game.